Hi, I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and welcome to my channel. I'm the crafter from Down Under and today I'd like to share with you how I made this beautiful, bountiful vegetable tablescape. Now I have five DIYs that are guaranteed to definitely tickle your taste buds. So for our first DIY, I'd like to show you how I put together this beautiful rosemary garnish bread. You're going to need some baking paper, some bread rolls, rosemary twigs, and some twine. Now what we want to do with this bread roll is we want to bring the baking paper up the sides of the bread roll, but we don't want it to cover it entirely because we want to leave a little bit of space so the bread roll peeks through, especially in its luscious, gorgeous, golden form. And we want to be able to insert the sprig and really make a decorative piece of the, tw of the rosemary twig. So once you've cut down your baking paper roughly to the size of your bread roll, then you're going to take your twine and you're going to roll it around the bread roll a few times, make a nice little bow and insert a fresh rosemary twig at the top of your baking, uh, at the top of your bread roll. And that's it, the easiest of DIYs, but boy, what an impact it makes on your table. So for our second DIY, I want to show you how to make this super easy asparagus candle. You're going to need two bunches of asparagus, a battery operated candle and some twine. Now I chose to use a battery operated candle for this DIY because I didn't want to use a real candle that might either burn or cook the aspar asparagus. So make sure you use a battery operated candle for this DIY. It's a little bit safer and a lot easier to manage and put together. So all you're going to do is lay out a few strings of twine and then put your asparagus side by side on top of the twine because what you're going to do is roll the candle in the center of the asparagus and very easily tie the asparagus around the candle. Once you've rolled the asparagus around the candle holder, then just tie a little bow or a knot, cut down any frayed edges, and then spread the asparagus around the candle. I probably could have used an extra half bunch, but I only had uh, two bunches and it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Another super duper easy DIY. It's going to look fabulous with a vegetable tablescape. Next, I'd like to share with you how I made this absolutely stunning rustic vegetable centerpiece using a DIY crate. Now you can pick up this crate in any discount store or your local craft store. I had this crate, I think I picked it up from Kmart here in Australia. As you can see, it comes in its raw form. Now all I did was I used some brown paint and some water and a baby wipe and I simply covered this ready-made crate in this gorgeous brown colour. Now you can stain it if you have uh, wood stain. I didn't have any wood stain handy so I just mixed up a little bit of my brown acrylic paint with some water and using the baby wipe it went on really really quickly. It was nice and porous so it took the paint very very well. Now once you've finished painting your crate to your liking then set it aside to fully dry because you are going to use it as a centerpiece with some vegetables and some florals, which I will show you a little bit later in this DIY series. So for this fourth DIY, I want to share with you how I made some purple cabbage inspired charger plates. Now with this vegetable tablescape, 
I really wanted to have pops of purple, all different shades of purple colour, seeing as the vegetable tablescape was going to be predominantly green. Now I had some charger plates that I picked up from the reject shop here in Australia, but you can pick up a charger plate from any discount store. This one had a cork backing and just a vinyl uh, covered um, top piece. So it was very, very easy to cover. I lay down some white um, house paint that I had in my stash to just give it um, a bit of a prime and start to get rid of some of the design that was already on the charger plate. And then I simply used some blue, uh, sorry, some purple acrylic paint and created a design by simply swirling my brush from the center in a circular fashion all the way around the charger plate to kind of give it a faux cabbage look. I wanted it to look like a vegetable charger plate and I was inspired by my purple cabbage that I had ready to use for my vegetable tablescape ready to go. I think it turned out gorgeous and it really gave the table the exact purple pop that I needed. So for my, sec my fifth and final DIY, I'd like to share with you how I actually built this beautiful, bountiful tablescape. Now, this tablescape is an inspiration that was requested by one of my beautiful subscribers who has left me some of the most gorgeous comments in the description box throughout my series of DIYs. I am new to YouTube and so every positive and inspiring comment has really allowed me to just keep going and continue to be super excited in doing something that I truly, truly love. So when laying the foundations for your table, give some thought to the different types of materials that you can use on your table to make it really interesting. On my table, I used a muslin type of table runner. As you saw me scrunching it up to give it a nice natural look, I had some beautiful uh, cotton fabric uh, table placemats and I also had some uh, raffia type of um, or rattan uh, charger plates and of course the beautiful cabbage inspired purple charger plates. Now I already knew that purple was going to be my accent colour for this tablescape. I like to think in advance of how the different colours are going to look on my table. I think it's important just to ensure that your table flows beautifully um, and it's got a more cohesive look. So normally when you're creating a tablescape you tend to put down green garlands to give it that base of which to build florals on top of. In this instance I used a range of different herbs, I used kale, I used some spring onions, I used parsley and it worked out really well in terms of starting to create that base what would normally be a floral garland in this instance is a garland made of gorgeous different types of vegetable greenery and then instead of using flowers I used root vegetables or a range of different types of vegetables that look like flowers so here you'll see artichokes cauliflower broccoli, I've used some zucchini, I've also used some uh, potatoes, the red skinned potatoes to start to add in that pop of colour and it's really starting to come together. Here's my uh, purple cabbage that just gives it that extra pop on the table and just arrange your vegetables any which way you like just remember though that you're going to have guests on either side of your table so make sure that you arrange your vegetables on all sides of the table so that guests can see your beautiful arrangement from wherever they sit. Now I also found some pinky purple turnips and of course some eggplants. Eggplants or aubergine in some countries it's called aubergine is this beautiful deep rich purple color again carrying that theme through and I'm just popping around my eggplants and aubergines and now you can see me popping in some avocados beautiful avocados I tell you if you could smell this table it really made my tummy rumble I have to say 
It was very inviting to see all these beautiful vegetables um, and certainly made us all very hungry for lunch. So I also managed to find some beautiful red purple carrots. I actually think they're purple carrots and uh, just lay them again throughout the table, putting them in the little spots where there were gaps and they really started to tie the entire tablescape together. Now when you're putting a tablescape you, you invariably find that there are gaps in your uh, tablescapes so especially down the center so grapes are a great way to fill any gaps that you might have and I had some red uh, grapes that I popped around the table then for that final pizzazz of color I used some gorgeous red chilies these are the long red chilies I left the little stem on just for that extra interest and just popped it into any gap um, and also wherever it looked really good across the floral or root vegetable tablescape. As with any tablescape, it's always good to insert some candles just to give your table some warmth and some ambience. And here you can see me using some green uh, candle holders that I already had on hand and just pop them in on top of some beautiful wooden coasters that I picked up from Kmart here in Australia and just pop them on top. I was putting the tablescape together I decided that the uh, fabric placemat needed to turn and be vertical rather than horizontal and I think that made the table a lot cleaner and it just looked better so sometimes that happens as you're creating on the go it, that's what crafting and DIYing is all about. You just put things together, change them around to your liking. There's no rules as long as it looks good to your eye and this way certainly looked good to my eye. So then I added some of my beautiful stemware. I had some gorgeous green glasses and my wine glasses and here you see me adding the beautiful rosemary bread rolls on top of the gorgeous table, uh, gorgeous plates. Now, I did say earlier that we were going to decorate the rustic crate centerpiece. It was important to do this on the table because I wanted to see exactly how many flowers I wanted to place in the centerpiece. That's why I wanted to create it as I was putting the tablescape together to ensure that it really was a seamless tablescape and all of the colors coordinated as well as the florals. So here you see me using some hydrangea and some beautiful purple uh, tulips. And I also had some Australian gum nuts and I thought it turned out just gorgeous. And to finish off the tablescape, I just inserted some beautiful long black stemmed candle holders with some beautiful white candles, church candles. And there you have it, a beautiful vegetable tablescape. I thought it turned out absolutely gorgeous. It's, I hope I've inspired you. I've really enjoyed putting this one together. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I make a range of different videos on tablescapes and different home decor DIYs. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. And thank you so much for those lovely comments that you leave me. It really does spur me on to keep going and do these beautiful DIYs. Well, this is it for this series. It's my beautiful vegetable tablescape. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've thoroughly loved putting it together. Have a great week and see you next time. Bye.